Hi guys, I'm Lydia Hughes, the Living in the Magic of Possibilities radio show host and obviously this weekly TV show host too. How did I get so lucky? Thank you so much for watching. So today's show comes to you from West Edmonton Mall, which is in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It's a big ass mall. It has everything in it from a whole water park to an ice arena to uh, a galaxy land. Lots of fun rides to go on. Uh, you might see some pictures on Facebook later of me on some of them. Probably not the roller coaster, even though I joke about it. Uh, and then behind me is a big, kind of like a shipwreck type of thing. It's just a cool ambiance and it's like eight in the morning, so not many people are around, which I'm actually grateful for, because uh, there's actually a lot of noise. And even though I have an awesome microphone, it doesn't do that well in this setting. So I apologize if the sound isn't as good as it usually is. Uh, and I still really wanted the mall in the background. So I wanted to talk about projections, expectations, judgments. This week, that's what the show was all about, projections and expectations. And I, I heard from so many of you how much you loved it. So thank you. I really appreciate the feedback. I'm so grateful. So I'm really, really grateful for the feedback. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful that it's a contribution. I know doing it is a huge contribution for me. So I wanted to talk about something that's come up a couple times for me. And I just kind of had the awareness about what it's about last night. So there's two people, there's way more than two people, but two people that it's occurred with lately. Uh, both people that I look up to, I've never met in person, but I read their stuff, I watch their videos, and I'm inspired by them. And one was, oh gosh, it was probably like three months ago that I saw it. It was a video she was doing, and she's a makeup artist. And as many of you know, this is not something that I used to do. Uh, makeup is new to me in the last... Um, gosh, almost a year now, so I've been watching a lot of videos, playing with it, having so much fun. Um, and like, check out these eyelashes. <laughs> I just didn't get any better. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. But really, check me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, um, when I was watching one of her videos, she said, and this is like a makeup wording, so don't worry, you don't have to know what it means. You'll get the energy of what I'm talking about. She was talking about contouring, which is like doing kind of dark lines in this area and one of my favorite things I so love to play with them and I am no master at it by any means but the more I practice I'll get there and she was talking about it showing the video I was watching it and she said she's not one to um, contour her nose every day and the wording she used was I don't want to be that girl and at the time I was like taken a little bit aback because I am that girl. Like if I'm wearing makeup, I'm contoured my nose, my everything. Oh, lots of noise coming. Uh, and so I was like, whoa, well that's interesting. Now what was cool for me is one, I didn't stop doing it. So I didn't go, oh, she doesn't do it, so I shouldn't do it, or make it wrong in a kind of a sense that she did. But it stayed in my in in my awareness. It was just an interesting state. So last week, I was listening to uh, another guy that inspires me, and he does social media stuff. <laughs> he was talking about flying, and how he doesn't fly first class every time he flies, because he doesn't want to be that guy. And I was like, uh, hmm, I do fly first class, or as high as a class as I can, every time I fly now. And so same thing, it was like, oh, that's an interesting statement. Not gonna change that I do that, um, but also made me really aware of, oh, what is that? And so I was looking at that this morning, and my awareness was, it's it, it, so when something stays with you, there's a lie attached. Like it's either a spoken lie or an unspoken lie. And so that was kind of like, okay, now he said it, now it's bouncing around in my head, there's something more to it. Uh, <clears throat> there's just a lot of carts going by, so I'm just waiting for a moment. So anyway, so I was looking at that this morning, I was like, okay, so what is the lie attached? Like, I'm, I'm so excited and so uh, grateful that I'm not changing what works for me. Those are fun things for me. I love to contour my nose. I love to fly first class. That's just who I be right now. It works for me. And I also follow the lightness. I have to say, I don't maybe so much ask about my nose. I know my body would let me know if it didn't desire the contouring, but I definitely ask around first class and flights and stuff like that. So I follow the energy and most times it's choosing that. My body loves that. Anyway, so I was looking at the wording. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that girl. And what the lie was attached 
was I don't want to be judged as that guy or as that girl. That's what they're avoiding. And they're not wrong. Don't believe me. I'm not here to tell you that they're wrong. That's why I'm not saying their names because it's not a contribution. I adore them. It hasn't changed the adoration that I have for them or the way they inspire me. But it was a huge awareness to go, that's when they say that. That's not actually true. I don't want to be that guy. No, they don't want to be judged as that guy or as that girl. And I mean, how much judgment do people have of, you know, people who maybe do themselves totally like a glamour makeup? I will often go into Sephora, which is a makeup store, and uh, talk to them about different makeup stuff. And they're, you know, they're usually like, well, that's an, that's an, like a once in a while look. You don't do this every day. And I'm like, I do. <laughs> I do. Now, I'll be honest, I, if I'm just staying at home, nobody's going to see me, I'm not going to do a video. No, you're right, I don't do it. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to waste these babies on uh, just uh, sitting at home watching TV. However, I do. This does work for me. My body does love it. First class, I do love it. And it's, I'm not telling you those things so you start doing them. That's not what I mean from it, but it's looking at that. And I mean, how much do we then allow? And I mean, the gal, that the makeup gal, she's got millions of people following her. So when we hear that with the energy delivered of that lie, how much then do we make it real and then stop what maybe works for us, shut off our awareness, say, she doesn't do that and it's obviously wrong because there's that energy delivered with it. And the same with the guy who doesn't fly first class, even though he has a hundred million dollar company and I think a $600 million company or 500 or no, Sorry, maybe it was that, I don't remember. Not 500 million, 100 million and five million. Anyway, whatever, millions of dollars. Um, he doesn't choose it based on not desiring to be judged for that. And that's okay, but if you go back, I don't know if it was last week's show or the week before where I talked about, I think it was actually last week's show, the number one reason people aren't creating their dream lives, it's that we're so worried about judgment. I mean, even when I was setting up here and kind of looking around for a spot, kind of, you know, hope it's quiet. And part of that was like, what are people going to think when they're walking by? And the ceiling, you can kind of see behind me, it kind of goes up and it's all glass. So there's an echo. So probably out on the, where people are walking, they can hear me very clearly. And I'm like, so let's, you know, let's drop the barriers. Let's receive that judgment. And I was aware that I kind of went there. I was like, no. I would like that in the background. That's fun for me. Uh, it also, you know, it just creates more when I'm willing to be judged. So it was just something that popped this morning and I wanted to share it with you because one, really be aware of those things that stay playing in your head, whether it's something somebody said to you 10 years ago or 10 weeks ago or uh, something you saw on TV or whatever. Just ask, what is the lie? here that I'm not acknowledging and it can be spoken or unspoken like both of those statements it wasn't spoken and that's what was kind of keeping it bopping around in my head my awareness was there was something else attached to it and that's it and it doesn't matter they don't have to change it was just a real uh, huge eye-opener for me to go wow I'm willing to be judged as that girl who contours her nose every day or flies first class every chance she gets uh, hello anyway or where's really like awesome <laughs> eyelashes I'm okay to be judged for that and really looking at being okay to be judged for anything like not just the stuff that's fun for me but everything just dropping the barrier so we're willing to receive that judgment so the more judgment you're willing to receive the more awesome your life is going to become and the less control people will have over you because if you're not willing to be judged as the person who flies first class all the time then you probably won't fly first class very often, which means you're gonna be in the back of the plane and it might not be as fun for you in your body. And it might be, who knows? You just wanna look at what you're not willing to be judged for. <sighs> Drop the barriers and allow it. Judgment means nothing about you. Anyway, I can talk for hours about judgment and I've gotta go facilitate a class. How the heck did I get so lucky? In the West Edmonton Mall for five days. Literally, hubby dropped me off on Tuesday and he was, well, he's gonna come up Saturday and, and spend the night and then take me home on Sunday. So how uh, does it get any better? So yes, and next week in case, you know, depending when you're watching this, uh, starting on, I think February 24, yeah, is a five day in Santa Cruz. Well, near Santa Cruz, not in Santa Cruz, but near Santa Cruz. So if you're in that area and would like to come and change your life, come on over or you can get to that area because they've got, you know, airplanes, you could fly first class or not, your choice.
and I have many classes around the world. I'll put that link below too so you can check out if I'm going to be in your area. Alright guys, I'm off to class. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.